Hi everybody, Downwind Sim here, and uh, just a quick additional tutorial about Java OpenStreetMap Editor and uh, how to add islands, things like that, sandbars to uh, rivers and lakes, etc. Uh, just as a reminder, you need Java OpenStreetMap Editor. Just do a simple Google search, JOSM, brings you to a link where you can download installers and get that installed. Um, I have that running right now, and uh, we're going to zoom in on an area in Alaska, right around in this area in Nome. And just as a reminder, uh, ortho tiles are uh, defined as one degree of latitude by one degree of longitude. And so the tile that we're going to be looking at here real quick is uh, this one here. 64 degrees north latitude so from this corner up to this corner then over to here then down to here so that whole area there and then again uh, the tile is defined by the southwest corner so this would be plus 64 minus 165 right here so i have those files loaded up in java openstreetmap editor right now you can see those two things right now i have the uh coastline.osm.bz2 and then also the water definition file. This is the coastline. Coastlines are a little bit different. Um, just I don't know all the ins and outs of them, but just remember that a coastline uh, generally doesn't loop back on itself um, just by definition. So uh, again, if you're going to be working in an area that has coastline, I would suggest that you deal with uh, the coastline area first before you get into dealing with the water. I have run into some problems of uh, interfacing the water layer and also the coastline layer at the same time. Uh, so just make sure that you have your coastline set up and working right. And you can see that these uh, these way definitions like so from way over here to here is defined with the key natural and the value is coastline. And uh, th this is a kind of a unique area because it also has um, islands defined in this coastline uh, layer. So that's a that's a little bit different. I haven't actually haven't seen that before, but it seems to work. But let's get on to the topic of the tutorial. Let's look at the water layer. Always make sure that you're working in the layer that you're you want to be. And uh, here's a little section of, an, of a river that has a couple of islands in it. So I'll show you how I do this, and it seems to work fine. So the first thing that we would want to do is just define an area of the uh, river. And I'm totally messing that up. Let's just start this again. Let me get rid of that. So you would normally just trace and then mess it up again you would normally just trace the outline of uh, here we can continue it of where you need to go or where the water boundary is and again you can be um, as accurate as you need to uh, for this tutorial I'm just gonna skip past this stuff and just kind of rough this in so there's another island, and let's say the river comes up here, and then it goes on. So you would um, outline an area that has water, and you would go around the outside and leave the area with the islands alone for the time being. So the first thing you would do is this way that you've just created needs to have a, a tag, natural, and water. So as you can see, those are typed in there. If, the, if those values aren't in there, you would just type them in natural and then type in water and press enter and you'll see that that way gets the key natural and the tag or the value for that key water and you can see that JOSM uh, outlined that in blue for us right now and, and uh, if we left it just like this there would not be an island defined or no uh, land defined by this section right here so in order to do that all we got to do is just come in here and trace around the island. And again, I'm just doing this real fast for tutorial sake. We can do this one too, but there is a little bit uh, different process to get multiple things added to it. And this is important. So once you have all of these things traced to your liking, um, 
the very first time thing that you'll want to do is create a multi-polygon. And so you do that with the original outline of the river or the lake. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to click, click any island or any interior land definition. So I have both of them selected. I don't have this one selected. And um, I just do it like this to where I just have two of them. And so this first time, you only need to do this once. You pick two and then you come up here to tools and then do create multi polygon and then after that you'll see that this way now is part of a multi polygon and so is this one if we go into edit if i'm going to pick this and i'm going to say edit you'll see that it has an outer roll which is the outer outside outline and then also an inner roll so there's 40 nodes on this out out one outside one and then 15 nodes on this inner one and you can jump back and forth and pick which ones you know if you had a bunch of them in here so the you only need to do the multi polygon step once where you click this one and then you shift click another and then to go tools multi polygon you only need to do that once then the next step after that if you want to add others is uh, after you get them drawn pick the outside loop come up here to edit click edit and then if I pick this way this second island if I pick that one you'll notice that that shows up over here 14 nodes on that selection so I'm going to throw that selection over into a member of this group by clicking this button and you'll see now that that is in this list and if I give it the role enter so if I click there and type in I N N E R there filled it in for me I'm just going to press enter and then click OK. You'll now notice that that is defined as an island as well. So again, you'll just kind of repeat the process at that point. If we had other islands in here, I'm just going to make a couple here just for an example. Let's say we had, let's say we just had a couple, oh, let's not do that. Let's say we had a couple of islands in here. Be a little more accurate getting, getting sloppy um, okay so let's say we have those three things so again the process would be after you've created your first multi polygon you'd pick the outer one click over here on edit and then you'll notice that I have this one with four nodes I have this one with four nodes and I have this one with three nodes now, just to save time after I got all of those drawn, I could shift click on these other two and you'll see that they, they all show up here in this selection list. And I can throw them all over into the membership now. And then very quickly just press I, fills it in, enter, I, enter, I, enter. And click OK. And now I've got a bunch of islands defined in this river section or um, it could be a lake or whatever you know like here's a uh, let's see somewhere around here is a lake it has an island in it is this it well may maybe you know that would might might have an island in it uh, but it's the same process so uh, I I typically work on river segments in uh, I don't know uh, I don't do the entire river I just do parts of it and then that way I'm able to kind of keep track of, okay, I got an island there, island there. Um, those all become pieces or parts of, the, you know, the, the uh, multi-polygon. It's a multi-polygon. If I click on edit here, you'll see that I've got a whole bunch of islands uh, on this particular segment. And I could step through there. And if I wanted to delete them out, I could if I wanted to add them back in. But you always need to make sure that it has an inner and an outer role. So hopefully that will answer your questions. If you have any more questions or get stuck on something, uh, feel free to drop me a message in my Discord. And that's it for now. Thanks. Bye.